Okay, in this problem, we're asked to use Lagrange multipliers to find the critical points of our function f of xy is equal to 3x squared plus 2y squared, and subject to the constraint x minus y is less than or equal to 30. Okay, so first we want to see where f has critical points, and that's when the gradient vector is equal to 0. So So our gradient vector of f is 6x comma 4y, and that equals 0 when x and y are both 0. And now we want to see if this critical point satisfies our constraint, where x will first look at the interior, so x minus y less than 30. So x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, so our left-hand side is 0, and clearly 0 is less than 30. So we have one critical point to check, and that's at 0, 0. And we can go ahead and calculate that actually right away, because it's just 0 when we plug in x and y equals 0. So now we want to check on the boundary, and that's when x minus y is equal to 30. And we want to use Lagrange multipliers. So we'll first verify that any points subject to our constraint x minus y equals 30, and our gradient vector. So it We'll let g of xy be x minus y. We want to find points that satisfy our constraint, x minus y equals 30, and where the gradient vector of g is equal to 0. Uh, we want to verify that none of those points exist, so our gradient vector of g of xy is equal to 1, negative 1. And that does not equal 0. So that means for any point that satisfies this constraint, our gradient vector is going to be non-zero. So we can use Lagrange multipliers to to find our critical points on the boundary. So we're going to set our gradient vector of f equal to some constant lambda times our gradient vector of g. So we have six x comma four y is equal to lambda times one negative one. So that, and we also want to satisfy our constraint x minus y equals 30. So we have six x equals lambda and four y equals negative lambda. We'll add these two equations. get 6x plus 4y, and that equals lambda minus lambda, or 0. So now we're going to go ahead and use our constraint equation. So we have x equals 30 plus y, and we'll plug it into our equation here. So we have 180. one eighty plus six y plus four y equals zero or ten y equals negative one eighty. We see that y 
is equal to negative 18. And when we plug into our constraint equation, we see that we have x is equal to 12 and y is equal to negative 18. And if we plug in our x value, x is equal to 12 times 6, 6 is 72. And 4 times negative 18 is negative 72. So lambda is equal to 72. And we have a xy lambda combination such that 6x comma 4y equals lambda times 1 negative 1. And it's subject to our, cons and our constraint is also satisfied where x minus y is equal to 30. And that point is at x equals 12, y equals negative 18. So we have a critical point at 12, negative 18. So we have f of 12, negative 18 is 1080. And clearly, if we let if we look at our constraint equation, we have x minus y is less than or equal to 30. If we let x equals 0, we could let y be as arbitrarily large as we want, which means that our function f of x, y could be as arbitrarily large as we want, since our y value is squared. So that means that we're looking for a minimum. So that means that we have our minimum occurs at f of 0, 0. So we found critical points both on the boundary and in the interior. Even though our um, constraint is not a compact region, we can deduce that uh, we have a global minimum at 0, 0.